What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Casey and uh, behind me is my 2020 Jeep Wrangler with a soft top. I've owned this Jeep for almost three and a half years, had the soft top on the entire time and I thought it's time to uh, answer some questions that you guys leave me. I get a lot of questions about the soft top. I leave it on 365 days a year. I've driven this up into freezing cold mountains, through rain, in the desert, sand dunes, everywhere over the last three and a half years. And I figured it's finally time to address the hundreds and hundreds of questions that you guys have left me about soft top, soft top ownership and all of that. And I figured it was a good day to, to make this video because I'm actually gonna be refreshing the soft top. I'm gonna be putting uh, a nicer, newer one on. And I thought, well, while I'm doing that, why don't I go through this huge list of questions and uh, answer them for you guys, answer them for you guys as we go. I'll show you what new soft top we're gonna be putting on here. And uh, you might be interested in that as well. Give you guys everything you need to know about uh, soft top ownership. Make sure you subscribe guys. I upload videos every week. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. I really use your help doing it. I would appreciate it a ton. Let's get going with this week's video. First, I thought I would give you a quick rundown of how the uh, JL, the newer 2018 and up soft tops work because they are a lot nicer than the soft tops that you would have gotten on uh, previous Jeep models like the JK. And uh, they're really easy to convert from, well, how we have it now fully covered to Safari style, which is gonna be taking these three windows off to peeling the whole roof back. Why I wanted to give you this quick rundown, it's gonna show you a couple challenges and things that uh, you wanna think about if you're gonna be running a soft top all the time. And I will talk about, you know, how the soft top has been in hot weather, cold weather in the winter, and there's definitely some advantages to the soft top. The JL soft top doesn't have any zippers on it, which is great because zippers are a huge pain. So if you're thinking about, you know, using this for overlanding, like I've been using it, you're gonna be in and out of this top window a lot. You don't have to deal with zippers and the cold and the, and the rain, all that kind of stuff. You just give it a pull, it unlocks, unlatches from the plastic at the bottom, and you just pull the two sides just like that, and now the roof is open. And they basically are just pressure fitting or clamping around the edges. I do find this, you know, it's a little less convenient than uh, a hard top where you're just flipping up the glass and closing it. It does take a little bit longer than just putting down the glass of your hard top. It does get a little bit tighter when it's colder out. It's maybe about 20 degrees Celsius out right now, so it's not super warm. But that's how easy it is to open and close the soft top. Some things with my soft top that I wanted to show you. Let me get this off. So one-handed operation is a little bit harder, but uh, I've noticed this in my soft top. And I've taken this, I mean, obviously this panel comes on and off a ton in all kinds of weather conditions because I'm, I've got gear in here and we're overlanding with it, but I've noticed it start to split on both sides in exactly the same spot. And just like that, you slide it out. There's there's no zippers or anything. The soft top has these little bullets on the end and this rail that slides into this rail. So when you wanna put it back in, you just put that in there and slide it all across the top. The soft top has never leaked water. So a lot of people have issues with their freedom panels. I'll show you here on the Gladiator. You know, if you've got the hard top and the freedom panels and you're taking them on and off, a lot of people get water coming in through the seals and around the seals in the back. I have never had any water leak in my soft top at all. So, and because we don't have any, any seams anywhere around here, there's not really anywhere for water to go to come inside. All right, so this leads me to another question. Uh, as well, I'm up here, I might as well answer it, and that is roof sag. We get a lot of questions about roof sag uh, with the soft top with water sitting on it. And honestly, it's pretty tight. This is the factory soft top, by the way. I've never had water pooling or sitting on the roof. The aftermarket soft top I have on my JK, that has been a problem. But the soft top we're gonna be taking off, I 
think the company's not in business anymore. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, but I'll show you that in next week's video where we're gonna be replacing the uh, JK soft top. We've got a great new soft top from Best Top, which is at an awesome price point because they were saying that uh, one of the biggest complaints about their tops is they're so expensive. And so they came out with a super affordable model and that's what I'm gonna show you on the JK next week. Find the soft top, challenging to keep fresh looking. There's lots of maintenance and care tips out there on the internet if you wanna go take a look. I take my Jeep out so often that I've just basically given up. I don't really care. Um, but it never does look as clean as a painted top or a factory black top. So that is something to consider if you off-road a lot. The amount of work it takes to clean all of this with um, you know, soft top cleaning solutions and brushes and all that stuff is more work if you wanna keep it looking like super fresh looking. But me, eh, not so much. All right guys, uh, quick pause from the video because I just got a text message from my good friend Paul over at Epic Adventure Outfitters. He wanted to let me know that the Kraken four tire inflation system for the Jeeps is currently in stock on their website. I'll put a link down in the description if you want to check it out. It's always sold out and I uh, thought I'd just give you guys a quick heads up while I'm editing. If you don't know what the Kraken tire inflation system is, it, uh, it's a mounting system for your A or B twin compressor that includes all the wiring, switches, manifolds, and these uh, four blue hoses that go to all your tires. So you can just you just flip the switch right here, walk away and let your uh, Jeep air up. But they're always out of stock. They're always taking pre-orders. So I thought I'd give you guys a heads up and let you know. I'll put an affiliate link down in the description below. It gives me a small commission on the sales, which really helps support uh, making these videos going out on all of these adventures. and. Epic Adventure Outfitters is an awesome company. They're friends of mine. We've been working together for quite a while and they do awesome Jeep builds for uh, customers as well as our friends over at White Rock Dodge and they really uh, support the Jeep community. I highly recommend checking them out. Link down in the description below. Back to the video. All right, I'll show you how to take the rest of the soft top off real quick here as we go. But basically just pull it out of the uh, little plastic piece here. Oh, what do we got here? I like. Same thing, basically Jeep uses all of these sort of plastic edges that clip under stuff to keep the soft top secure. And you just basically pull it back. And then there's a little piece of Velcro right here. You undo, and then you slide this panel off. And it uses the same track system, but in reverse, instead of having the little bullet with the rail on it, this the window has the track on it right here. Now that you've seen just how easy it is to pull the three windows off, that's the question that I get asked a lot. What about security and people getting access to your stuff? Yep, having a soft top is definitely going to be less secure with your Jeep. It's just something you're gonna have to live with with the soft top. And if you like that style and you wanna drive around with the roof off, you don't not really have much security anyway. I have a uh, Tuffy security deck in the back of here which lets me store a bunch of stuff underneath. If I need to lock the vehicle up, you can't get access to this. Even if you flip the seats down, it's got a wall on the other side. So I do have a security system in here. We have a Blackview dash cam, which uh, has a rear mounted camera. So this is all motion activated. If somebody were to come up to the Jeep, they would be on video. And then there's one in the front facing forward. I am more cautious where I take my Jeep. There's more to it than just being worried about somebody breaking in and taking my stuff. Um, you know, we got a lot of expensive accessories on here that I'm also worried about someone stealing. So I'm very mindful where I take my Jeeps, where I park them. If you've got a daily driver, you gotta be driving downtown, parking in a parkade all the time. Soft top might not be for you. Never been a problem for me. I never really worry about it. It's just Jeep life. Okay, I got two more questions to answer now. Uh, that we've got the soft top off and then we're gonna peel the whole soft top back take it right off and we'll unbox and I'll show you this new soft top that we have from best top but one other thing I want to mention with the soft top and that is the plastic windows actually two things I want to mention about the plastic windows okay one um, they do get scratched up you guys can see all of the abrasions in here I don't know if there's like a plastic cleaner that you could use to get these scratches out but um, with a lot of bushes things that are just on the trails these get scratched up like 
crazy. And the other thing I want to show you is with stickers, but it's really hard for me to show you in the light, but originally I had a KC250 sticker right here and the sun has baked it in. And I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there is a right here, it's baked in. So I'm guessing all of these stickers that I have on the back window with all my friends like Epic Adventure, Outfitters and Story Till Now and everybody else is gonna be baked in to the windows. So don't put stickers on your soft top windows like I did, I learned that the hard way. But um, you know, the Jeep sits outside 365. It probably took a year or full summer for that KC250 sticker to get baked in. I'll show you how easy it is to actually go from safari style, which by the way, this is my favorite way to have my Jeep. I love the safari style setup with the full roof covering the back. So if we get some unexpected rain, everything doesn't get super wet. And I pretty much travel around like this all summer. I just had the windows on because I was away. So I didn't want the Jeep fully open and critters in here, but I pretty much leave the Jeep like this all summer. I, I don't generally pull the roof all the way back because I just find uh, for me, it's too much sun in my face driving around. And if we get rain, then I got to worry about that. But I leave the Jeep like this all summer. This is the best configuration I think the Jeep uh, has made now that you can drive around like this. All right, let's pull the roof back. But before we do, I want to talk about a couple of things with the uh, soft top on the inside. I'll talk about heat and cold and my experience and thoughts about with that, about with, can't even talk, uh, with that in a minute. Once we get the new top on, uh, I'm gonna finish off the rest of the questions that you guys have left me that I wanna address. But there's one I wanna address before we peel the roof back, and that is head room. So something you may not, and most people haven't realized this, you get several more inches of space above your head with the soft top because of the way it's designed. And you can see right here, I've got this JCR overhead rack, uh, which I have my radio and everything, 67 designs, rail mounted to, worn bag, extinguisher, all that stuff. But you can see, I put coats and stuff up here. There's so much, there's so much room above this that I can put a hoodie and a jacket and I am six foot two. Let me sit properly in here, not all slouched down. But I have quite a bit of headroom above me with the soft top. Let me show you by comparison what it looks like in a Jeep with a hard top. So we are in the, the Gladiator. Now, Jeep has done uh, a nice design having this raised a bit more, but towards the back, right where you're sitting, especially if you're all the way back, which makes more sense if you're taller, you're gonna have your seat all the way back. My head, like literally when I'm driving, my head can hit the roof if we hit a big enough bump. There's barely any space above my head. Now, if my seat was more far forward, because I was shorter, I would have an extra inch or so above my head here. But if I'm taller, I'm gonna be all the way back. So I'm actually hitting my head on the edge of the freedom panel. And in the middle of the freedom panel, I don't, I don't have a overhead rack here, but what you would see is that the overhead rack would be almost flush with the lowered part of the freedom panels. The flip side of that is the soft top makes your Jeep taller. So if you're worried about the overall height, trying to fit into park parkades or garages, or for me on the ferry all the time, your soft top is going to be higher. We'll talk about roof racks in a second. So I want to talk about rooftop tents and I'll show you guys some awesome B-roll, but you have to be careful with roof racks because the soft top is taller and it needs more height. So some of them are designed for soft tops. Some of them are not. Okay. In order to peel the soft top back, we unlatch, we unlatch and that's it. You just push it up and the whole soft top can flip back like that. And there you go. So there you're kind of like half, I don't know, half back, <laughs> but it has a little gas struts that help with it. So it's fairly easy. Come back here. There's a lever right there. And you can just pull all this back. Yeah, then you've got your soft top back. And if you want to put it all the way down and get rid of these rails, put this camera down. It's just a little release here. 
to release the rails. You can uh, tuck it down like this. So there you go, there's what it looks like. I don't know, I think that kind of looks goofy. I prefer keeping it up and it's fire style, but there you go. That's how easy it is to put the top down. All right, let's get the uh, new soft top out and unpacked, but this is the best top super top in black twill. So they do have uh, an, an, a version above this. The big difference is one can fold back like we, I just showed you like this, which I don't like and it costs a bunch more money. Or this one is pretty much the same and you can get it in twill, um, but it only has safari style. So you can't actually fold it all the way back and down um, like we have. To me, it's fine because I literally never do that. Now, the best top kit comes with everything you need to add a soft top to your Jeep. So it's not just the uh, top that goes over it. It's gonna be all the door surrounds, the mounts, the rails, everything. If you don't have a soft top, you can put a soft top on your Jeep. Now, when I was unpacking this, I remembered something I wanted to tell you guys. If you ordered or bought your Jeep with just a soft top, it's never had a hard top on it before, and you're looking at buying a hard top, you need to make sure you get all the, of the mounting hardware for the hard top. Because if you factor order like I did, your Jeep with a soft top, there are certain brackets that don't come with it. The brackets that go up here that your Freedom Tops would latch to, as well as the brackets that would go up front here that the Freedom Tops would latch onto you won't have those mounting brackets. You also won't have the uh, wiring for a rear windshield wiper or the uh, sprayer hose that connects for the washer fluid for the rear window. So that's pretty much only if you factory order it with a soft top from the factory, but I want to mention that before we get started. So this is not, uh, I don't know what the Jeep calls this from the factory, but this is, Maybe I shouldn't put this on the ground like this. Okay, we've got these unpacked and I can show you the difference here in the materials. The factory top, which I think now you can actually order these in twill, but it's sort of like a vinyl-y, almost a rubbery feeling material. And the twill that this top is, this is their more premium material. I'm already mucking it up, but it's more like a fabric, more like a canvas, it's soft and it's very rich black and they do come tinted you can barely see through it just like the factory ones but a little bit darker honestly the material is much nicer feeling and really looks sharp now my understanding from looking on the forums i can't say this firsthand obviously because i don't have experience with this yet but people say this is easier to clean it's more like washing uh like a pair of jeans almost Versus this, when it gets dirty and everything is good, gets ground into it, it just never seems to get back to black very easily. We'll see, because we're gonna throw this on the Wrangler and uh, we're gonna head down to the Rubicon in a few weeks and uh, take this thing on a crazy adventure. So we'll, uh, we'll see what it looks like when we get back. So guys, just a reminder, if you wanna see those videos, I upload every week, whether it's installs reviews or awesome adventures make sure you subscribe hit that notification button and i'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers and uh, i'd appreciate it if you take a quick second hit that subscribe button helps me out a ton We uh, got the top off the Jeep. Honestly, it takes 15 minutes. The hardest part, you might want some help from somebody else, a uh, second person, actually removing the whole assembly. And I don't know, maybe sell this or give it away. It's pretty beat up. Um, but if I do sell it, I'll probably put it up on my Patreon page, super cheap. Um, if you wanna check that out, patreon.com slash KC250.
All right, guys, just like that, four hours later, which is about what Best Top uh, says it would take to install this roof, we have a fresh looking new twill. Uh, very nice soft top on here. You can immediately see just how much darker and deeper black this is compared to before. Um, but I'll finish off with the rest of the questions here in a second, but uh, just want to be clear about which top we installed because Best Top does make a few different tops. And this one does not fold all the way down. We can pull the side windows off. We can unlatch the top right here, right? Flip it all the way back like that. And uh, we have a sun, sun, strider, sun strider, but anyways, we can't put the top all the way back. This is their, this is the model that, that uh, well, if you wanna get a soft top and save a few bucks and roll around in safari mode and have a sun strider, it's a more affordable version. Um, they do make another version with more options, more like the factory top, so you can have sun strider or you can pull it all the way back or have safari. Um, but you know, there's a premium you pay for all the features. So I like safari style, keeping the top over my head, over all the passenger area and the back. If you wanna save a few bucks, um, I'll put a link to the exact one that we installed in this, but you can check out the other tops at Best Top if you didn't order one with your, your Jeep from the factory. Let's finish off the last few questions that I had. A big one is about in the cold and in the hot, in the heat. I spent a lot of time in my Jeep in both uh, winter camping. Go check out some of the videos up in the corner. Honestly, in the front area, I don't find that it's colder than a hard top, um, you know, compared to the Gladiator we have. The Jeeps have a lot of heat. They're really good at putting out heat. Uh, I've never sat in the back, so I don't know if it gets cooler. Um, but, you know, we've had negative 10 degrees Celsius. The top's been fine. I drive it, crank the heat up. It's all good. In the heat, what I noticed right away between the Gladiator with the hard top and this with the soft top is because I am sitting a few inches further away from the roof material, I don't feel the heat as much radiating off of the black roof. Where in the hard top, I can feel the hard top radiating and keeping my head. Now, if you're not six foot two, you may not notice that. You may have several more inches before you get to the roof. But if you're taller and your head's near the top, I notice it not. it, it is cooler because you're not right next to the the material that's basically radiating the heat. The other thing to consider too uh, in the cold is the rear hatch on the soft top is harder to use when the window and the material shrinks up a little bit. It gets a little bit tighter. It's harder to close and latch. It is way easier getting in and out of the back of a hard top Wrangler, flipping the glass up compared to having to pull and unlatch the bottom and unlatch the sides. The other thing is when you flip up your rear glass on a hard top, you get a bit of a, you know, you get a bit of rain cover. So if it's raining and you pop that up, you've got something covering you where when you flip the soft top up, open, open the soft top, there's nothing covering you. That leads to kind of the last question that I asked a lot about, can you put a rooftop tent on a soft top? I have tried two different racks. One I had no success with. Uh, you can go back and find those videos in my uh, history of my uploads. And then I have the rack I have now, the Adventure Rack System um, from Metal Cloak, which I have taken, taken all over the place. Um, we've been down the sand dunes, Death Valley, up mountains, winter, summer, everything. And we have it for the soft top and it's been bulletproof with 175 pound tent and two cargo boxes on the roof. Um, the way that it mounts, it's it's great but i'm about to put it back on for the rubicon trip it is a little bit heavy but you're also saving some weight with the soft top um, so it's kind of a bit of a trade-off i would highly recommend it if you want to put a rooftop tent on and i can take it off in about an hour it's it's not a lengthy difficult process to take off and unbolt now the last piece i wanted to say with respect to rooftop tents and the soft top is when you open that rear hatch and you've got a rack and a rooftop tent on your Jeep, you don't really have anywhere to fold it over to. So that can be a bit of a hassle versus having the glass that just pops up with uh, with a hard top. So you have, it's something to think about. It's, it's something you gotta deal with and it's not as uh, simple 
as a hard top. The last two things that I, I wanna just bring up and mention to you guys, um, one is life expectancy. I think life expectancy of soft top is going to be less. A hard top pretty much will live the life of the Jeep. The soft top, depending on how much you use it, can get fatigued as I showed you guys when we started out, um, you know, around the back. You know, we were seeing some fatigue on our other top in, in this area here. We had a couple rips. Um, I've been fairly lucky not damaging my, my other soft top with trees and branches. It's been fairly durable, but as you know, now we've got nice non-scratched up windows. So you do get a bit more, a bit more wear and tear uh, with the soft top. So. You know, I have 50,000 kilometers, countless adventures and trips, and I don't know how many days on the trail exploring and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Three years I got out of it, and I think it was definitely looking pretty worn and ready for replacement. The last thing is road noise. What is it like driving with the soft top? In the JLs with the factory soft top, um, I need to go test this best top, but I, I'm gonna bet it's gonna be exactly the same. They're very quiet. The soft tops on the new Jeeps are super quiet. I've driven thousands and thousands of kilometers with my soft top. It's super quiet. It's actually kind of crazy how quiet it is with soft top. Now, when you put a roof rack on and a rooftop tent, it is noisy. Um, the adventure rack system is quite noisy with air going over the top and with the rooftop tent on. With a hard top, you have more versatility with mounting a rooftop tent to the top of your Jeep. You can have a rack that mounts right to the roof. You don't have any bars or anything around the front. So I would compare it to like, if you had a light bar on the front of your Jeep, that's what kind of wind noise you'll get. But if you don't need a rooftop tent, you don't need a rack, and you're just watching this video, wondering about road noise, highway noise with a soft top, it's great. I have uh, no complaints and I would say it's the same noise as a hard top as far as wind noise goes and highway noise goes i don't know what it's compared to like with a hard top with all the extra liners and stuff you could put on it um, that might be better and maybe if you live somewhere really really cold like minus 30 or 40 below maybe that will be better in the winter it doesn't get super cold here but you know we've been into minus 10 that's pretty good i'll leave you guys with that and uh, remember we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers guys and uh if you missed it at the start my name is Casey, and I make new videos every week with my Jeeps. I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe, leave a like, and if you want to know anything, leave a question down in the comments below. I'll try to help you out. And uh, if I miss something or uh, share your experiences with soft, top, soft tops versus hard tops, I'd love to, love to hear about what you guys think and your experiences with them. All right, I'll see you guys next week in the next video.